Hi guys, it's Mrs. DiPietro. I hope you had an awesome weekend. Today is Monday, April 20th, and I want to tell you a little bit about your lessons for today. So, we're starting a new unit in phonics. So you're going to watch the phonics video. These are our spelling words to practice for the week. Point, toy, joy, soil, oil, and spoil. So you're going to watch the phonics video, like I said, do an episode of Head Sprout. Reading and writing are kind of combined today. You're going to click on this link, and it will take you to the Scholastic website. So you're going to go there, and you're going to scroll down to day 17. You're going to click on here, and you're going to watch Scaredy Squirrel. So after you listen to Scaredy Squirrel, I want you to tell a grown-up about the character of Scaredy Squirrel. What was he like? How did you know? What evidence from the text let you know that he was like this particular character trait? After that, you are going to go back to that website, and you are going to read the book Squirrels, and also watch the video Squirrels, eat em up animals you are going to be writing about squirrels today using the information from that nonfiction book in the video. So last week we were writing about realistic fiction, stories that had characters and were not true. And this week we're, you're gonna be writing an informational piece. So you're gonna write about squirrels today. Um, what did you just learn about squirrels? Think about three facts that you learned that you can teach your reader. Make sure that you name your topic, write three facts, and then have a closing for your piece. So I'm going to show you mine. So this is our checklist, and you can find this at the bottom of the lesson plan page. Um, make sure that you have taught your reader, or tell your readers what you're going to teach them. Make sure you grab their attention. You are going to, we're not really writing across pages here, since you're gonna be writing in your notebook. Um, but at least have five sentences, one topic sentence, three fact sentences, and an ending or closing sentence. Make sure you have capitals and periods where they need to be. Um, you can also include a picture that teaches and labels. So I began one here. I drew a picture of a squirrel, and then I labeled different parts of my picture. I also started with a topic sentence. Squirrels are very interesting animals. I would continue with three sentences or more with facts I learned about squirrels. And then I would wrap it up with a closing sentence that retells my reader what I just wrote about. If you like this paper and you have a printer at home, I've also attached it to the lesson plans. So on the lesson plan page, if you scroll down to the bottom, Scroll down to the bottom. I have this checklist here. You can use that to help you make sure you have all the pieces of your nonfiction writing. I have just a, another sample of nonfiction writing here. And then I have the paper if you wanted to print it out, it's just like mine. If not, it is totally fine to just write in your writing notebook. I hope you guys have an awesome day learning today. Don't forget to read for 15 to 20 minutes as well. And if you need me, just send me a message. I'm happy to help. Have a great day learning.